Hi everybody, it's Janet Dow, Fun Stamper's Journey, also known as Creative Fun Journey. And today, where we're going to be making is this cute card. I call it the Floral View Butterfly Card, using the Pan Pastels. It is a really, really simple card to make. It doesn't take very much time at all. Um, and I really do think that you're going to enjoy making it. Okay, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through um, the card stock and what you're going to need in the measurements, and then we'll make the card. Okay, first of all, what I want to show you is the first thing that we're going to do is this is the whipped cream and our Fun Stampers whipped cream card stock. Um, we're going to be using the 8.5 by 11 card stock. Uh, the measurement for this is 8.5 by five and a fourth for this one okay the next piece that we're going to use is it's also going to be the whipped cream this one is going to be used for the um, the die what we're going to put the die on and this piece is six and three eighths by five and a half okay the next piece that we're going to use is also from whip, the whipped cream. And this piece is for the inside, going to be for the inside of your card. And this one is four and three quarters by three and a half. Okay? And then we have one more, and this one also is going to go on the inside of your card. And this one here is from the bubble gum and the bubble gum also we're going to be using the eight and a half by eleven um, card stock you get 25 sheets in here too and this one here is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths okay the first thing that we're going to start with is we're going to start with your whipped cream that is eight and a half by five and a fourth and what we're going to do first is we're going to fold it in half, just like this. I'm going to use our journey crease tool to crease it, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to put this aside. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get out the Floral View die set. And this die is so cool. I just love, love, love this die. And we're going to be using more of it. Um, the, what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of um, whipped cream, that it, the, the piece that is um, 6 and 3 eighths by 5 and a half, and we're going to cut out the die on, on, um, on our Journey Platinum. Now, I went ahead and did this for you um, already. Um, to get it ready, this is what it looks like. Um, how you know that it's all the way cut through um, so that you know for a fact it is, is, see how the back is like this? It's kind of dark in the sections of the cutout. That's how you know. If it's not, it's going to be light in some sections and then that way you know that it's not cut all the way through on your die cutting machine. But all you're going to do is you're going to pull this off like this then what we're going to use is we're going to use our bloom tool that um, Fun Stampers Journey has. Now the bloom tool, remember, has the seven picks, that, seven tips that go with it. And then it also has this one here. The One of the ones that I use a lot is the brush. And for this, for this particular one, we're going to use the brush. And we're going to also use the one that looks like a dental pick. Um, on this one and what we're going to do with it is we're going to take it and we're just going to go like this with it and what this is going to do is it's getting off a lot of those little pieces that are there and you just and you don't want to lay it flat when you do it you want to hold it up when you do, use this tool to take this off just like that okay and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to take it, and you can use the spatula part of it to peel it off, but I am just going to peel it right off, just like this. It comes right off. And then if there's any other pieces that are left in here, then you just take your little pick and you just pick it out. And there was only one piece. See how great that is? And this is what it looks like when you're done. 
okay? Now we're going to set that aside. I'm going to get rid of this really quick so we can finish making our card, okay? Now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring out our pan pastels. And then the pan pastels, the ones that I'm using, this one is the Confectionery Days pan pastels. And I'm going to be using this, the larger sponge on this one, okay? And then I'm just going to open this in our pan pastels. You can leave these either in the tray, which they're stackable, or you can take your pan pastels and you can take them out like this and you can stack them also. And it also then you can have the one that has the top on the very top of it, okay? Um, or you can leave them in the tray, whichever way um, that is the easiest for you. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to bring our card. Um, and this one is the one that we folded in half. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take these pan pastels and very lightly, you do not have to do this, use a very light touch on it. Um, because if you do it too hard, then it's going to get dusty and that's too hard. You don't want to go that hard with them. So all you're going to do is very lightly just go like that. See how it picks it up? You don't have to do it um, heavy at all. Then what we're going to do on this card is we're just going to take it and go in a circular motion with it. Um, and we're going to go pretty light on it, just like this. Okay. Then I'm going to use a paper towel and I'm just going to wipe it off on a paper towel. Then we're going to use another color whatever color that you want. And if you, you mix the colors, it's okay. It's a dry coloring system. So it's going to be all right if you mix into it or if you mix around it. Um, it's not going to matter either way. And I'm just going to keep pulling up the colors like this and I'm just going to keep mixing them is what I'm going to do. It's like this. And then I'm just going to keep moving it around and um, just keep coloring with it and all I'm going to do is go into circles and go around. It, it looks pretty cool the way we're doing it just like this but it also it looks cool on your paper towel too but it also it's just it it it's all these colors mixed and it's so pretty and it ends up being really pretty when you put your dye on it. So we're going to set this aside, but look how this looks with the dye. Isn't that pretty? It's just so pretty showing through there. And I'm going to do a little bit more here um, on this one. So I think I'm going to use this one over here. And I'm just going to use just a little bit more color right in that corner. There we go. And that's it. That's all we're going to be doing with that. Now, the pan pastels, they do get kind of dusty on your fingers. If you go like this, it lifts it up onto your fingers. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take non-scented hairspray and I'm just going to lightly spray this on here, just like that. And what that's going to do is make it to where it's not going to lift up on the color onto you, okay? And while that's drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the inside of my card, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put um, the cardstock on the inside to give it just a little bit more color. So the two pieces that I'm going to use is our bubble gum. And what I'm going to take is I'm going to take our um, the Fun Stampers Journey. It's the Easy Guide Permanent Adhesive Runner. And I'm just going to use this and just put the um, tape on the back of it here. And then what I'll do is I'll open this up. And it's already dry. I can feel it when I just open that up. That's how quickly it dries. And then I'm just going to put the two pieces here on the inside of it. Just like this. And this tape is very strong tape, just like that. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, oh, I see a little bit of little holes here that I just want to 
poke out here. The little holes are the ones that didn't poke out. Okay, that's it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our, turn it over to the back side, and I'm going to take our journey dots. And the journey dots are so cool. And I just lost the inside of this real quick. Here, let's open it up. It usually f comes out the side, but I just lost it. But what you're going to do with it is you're going to just take a piece, because the journey dots comes on these little um, plastic pieces, and all we're going to do is we're just going to put it on, lift it off, just like that. And when you put it on and lift it off, um, then your your dots right on there. So there's no fussing with it or trying to use um, the bloom tool to put it on or anything. And I'm just putting this in um, on the four corners of it, of here. And then I'm going to put a, just a couple of them um, on the insides. And that's just to hold it in place. Um, let's see. And I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to put one more just for good measure. Um, oops, that one doesn't have one on. Um, just for good measure, I'm going to put one right over here. Just like that. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is we're just going to put this on. The front of this just like that and just put it on just like that okay then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add the butterflies to it and what I used to add the butterflies is I used um, fun stampers journey punch and the punch system is the coolest things because they have the cartridges that slide off and on and then so you can use different ones and it's a lot cheaper this way too and the one that i used for this is this is called the flutterfly um and i just want to show you really quick on how we used it and all you did is i just took a scrap piece of the um of the um, bubble gum and you just slip put it in there and then you just punch just like that it's very very easy to use um, the punch handle but I went ahead and I punched a few of them out um, beforehand and I actually used um, watermelon fusion I used whipped cream and I also used um, watermelon fusion whipped cream and bubblegum for this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a journey dot and I'm going to place it on the back of one of the butterflies on the smallest one. Okay. And then I'm just going to put it on in the middle of this butterfly just like that. Isn't that cute? I just, it's so easy and so much fun. I just love it. This card, literally, you can do this card in just a few minutes. And then I'm going to take another journey dot. And I'm going to put it on the back of a really small one. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this one on the card just like that. Then I'm going to take another dot. This one takes a few dots, the journey dots, which is kind of cool because it's really fast that way. And then we're going to put this one just like that right on there. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to use is the pearls. And these are journey pearls. Um, you can either take them off with your finger or you can use the pick on the bloom tool. And you can just take them off with a pick. And then all I do is just put them on, just like this, onto the butterfly. Just like that. So easy, easy to make. And there you have it. All done. And it didn't take us very long at all to make this cute little card. I just love it. So I'd like to thank you for um, 
watching my video today and I hope you stop by again soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.